We can create new model objects directly from backbone.model, but most of the time you'll want to define your own model types. This is done by extending backbone.model. The argument to the extend method is an object containing the configuration of your new model type. Passing an empty object results in a new model type identical to backbone.model. In this example, vehicle is a new constructor function, or pseudotype, that inherits from backbone.model. The identifier vehicle begins with an uppercase V because that is the conventional way of naming constructor functions in JavaScript. The extend function is a helper shared by model, collection, router and view. It establishes an inheritance relationship between two objects. A similar function is also found in underscore.js and in jQuery. Let's have a look at how this might work in practice. The web page you can see here is the JS fiddle that was introduced in the first module of this course. It's an empty JS fiddle except that it includes jQuery underscore.js and backbone.js. So I can begin immediately working with backbone types in the JavaScript editor here. And what I'd like to do is define a vehicle type. We do that by extending backbone.model. And I'm just going to add one simple property to my new model type. Just a property called prop1 with the value a string containing the number one. And now I can instantiate new models from my new type just by using the new operator and the vehicle constructor function. So I'll create one object called v, another object called v2. So now I have two instances of my vehicle type. I can access the property on the first object and set its value to something different. And now if we use console to inspect the value of the properties of my two objects, firstly the first object and then the second object, if I run that and you look in the JavaScript console, you can see that the first object property one is equal to the value one, which is what I set. And for the second object property one is equal to the numerical character one because that's how it was set when the object was created. It's possible to define class properties by providing a second argument to extend. Class properties are like static fields in C Sharp or Java, or are like class methods and class variables in Ruby. They become available directly on the type instead of on objects that are instances of that type. In this example, the summary function is available directly on the vehicle constructor without the need to first create a new object from the vehicle constructor. Let's try that in JS Fiddle. We create a new constructor for a model called vehicle. As usual, by extending backbone.model. The first argument to extend is where we would usually configure our model object. In this case, I'm just going to pass an empty object. Now the second argument is where we can define class properties. So my example was to add a summary function, which is going to return some text. Now that I've defined a new model type vehicle, I can call my summary function even without instantiating a new object of the vehicle type. And if I send that to the console, now we can run this example and see what it does. Click the run button and it outputs vehicles are for traveling. Backbone model types are JavaScript constructor functions. Therefore, to create a model object, call its constructor function with the new operator. If there's nothing unique about your model type, there's no need to define a custom model type, so you can just use the backbone.model constructor. Usually, 
you will be instantiating custom types. Vehicle is a custom backbone model constructor function, and Ford is a new object created from it. It's common to provide a model's data as an argument to the constructor. In this case, I'm setting the name and the age properties for my newly created model object. Initialize is a special model method that if specified will be called when the object is constructed. So it's a lot, a lot like your typical constructor that you would have in a class in C Sharp or Java or many other languages. This is our empty model definition that we've seen many times. So we can just specify an initialize function and I'll just get that to write a message to the log vehicle created and now if I instantiate a new instance of my vehicle type using the new operator run the example when the constructor function was called the initialize function was invoked and its output the message vehicle created 